Hello everyone, welcome back to Garner Reviews, and today marks the uh, pretty much the one month mark, so this is going to be the one month review of the LG G6. So this phone, uh, I ended up choosing this about a month ago um, over the HTC U11, and not really because I figured this phone would outperform it or anything, but um, this was my first experience with an LG uh, device. Um, and I was, you know, curiosity kind of got the better of me, and I decided to uh, jump on into it. Um, I had an experience with HTC in the past. I really like their products, but I figured uh, trying something new would be fun. So, yeah, month into it, and I can tell you that for me, this has been a very solid device um, across, you know, kind of the checklist of boxes that you would want to see for a smartphone like this, especially in 2017. Um, it does a lot right. There's a few things that I think LG could improve upon. Um, and from uh, what we're gathering on the V30 that's coming out here real soon, it looks like LG maybe addressed a few of those things and they've made some uh, great improvements. So that's always encouraging. But overall, this device, um, it, it looks great from a design standpoint. Um, I love the uh, purchase. You know, you can get a good grip on this. I appreciate the... Uh, the edge, the kind of flatter sides um, versus something like the Samsung, which again, it's a beautiful phone, but um, for me, I like to get a little bit more purchase on there and this phone allows that. Uh, the display's nice. Uh, you got a pretty good screen to body ratio. And I think for the most part, like I said, this checks a lot of the boxes that you would like to see checked in um, 2017. So uh, the few things that I would like to see improved or that they could have maybe have done differently. Um, we'll first start off with the performance was a fairly good overall um, with a few stutters and hiccups along the way. Sometimes, you know, I would jump into um, an app or something uh, or I would be closing some apps and sometimes I'd get a stutter or... Um, I even had it one time just jump into a completely black screen and it just kind of sat there for a second and um, it usually seems to catch right back up and then performance is fine but uh, I think that's probably an issue with uh, the Snapdragon 821 um, and obviously with the Snapdragon 835 this year uh, still a little perplexing to me although um, it, it looks like they're fixing that with LG uh, 30 so that's or the V30 excuse me so that's encouraging to see, but performance, for the most part, very solid uh, with the occasional hiccup here and there, but it's nothing that um, for me would be enough to not buy this phone, I guess, um, especially early on if you would have gotten this early in the, earlier in the year. Um, I, you know, it's still a solid contender even now, especially with that price point kind of as low as it's gotten recently. Uh, the screen is super nice. Um, of course, it's got some great color. Um, the size is really neat. I, I like this taller aspect ratio. Um, it allows the phone to, you get that extra screen size and everything, but you're not, um, you're not getting a phone that's super wide and that's kind of unwieldy. So that's nice to see as well. Um, but to kind of keep with the few things I would like to see improved or that I would have liked to have seen differently, um, speaker for me, um, once you kind of are used to the HTC, the kind of front firing speakers, uh, it's really hard to go back to this bottom um, style. And I think for media consumption, all these companies, you know, they're really emphasizing the screen, which is great because I love this screen to body ratio. It's beautiful. You're getting a lot of screen in there without too much size. And of course, the displays are getting really nice uh, with Samsung. Uh, the V30 is supposed to look spectacular. Um, so that's all great, and it makes for a really good uh, media experience, but part of that media experience also is the sound, right? And so obviously, this has a headphone jack, which for some reason in 2017 seems to be a big deal uh, with so many companies getting rid of them. So it has a headphone jack, but if you're not listening uh, or you know watching something with headphones on, it's nice to have um, good sound quality coming out of the phone. So I think it would be excellent if someone you know maybe went with a similar design to this where you have a little bit more bezel but it allows you to get those speakers in here uh, on the front and I think that would really just top off and make for a just a killer media experience honestly so uh, so the speaker I mean it's it gets decently loud um, 
but obviously here on the bottom it's super easy to cover up um, so that you know I would I would have liked to have seen that maybe done differently um, battery uh, it's not horrible but it's not real good either uh, typical day for me at least I'm usually ending the day with around 20 to 30 percent battery which isn't too bad but um, I think you could see some improvement there especially if they would have opted for the uh, 835 uh, Snapdragon, I think that probably would have helped some. Um, but overall, most days it, it gets through just fine. There's an occasional day with heavy use where I have to uh, plug in. And, you know, again, with the quick charging and then all the other options out there, it's really not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to see either um, some more efficiency or optimization, whatever would have done it, or maybe even a slightly bigger battery. Um, obviously, this phone's not super thin by today's standards. But even, um, you know, slightly thicker, I think a lot of people would be willing to sacrifice a little bit of thickness to uh, get that really stellar battery performance. Um, and then to actually talk about like the cell phone, the actual reception and stuff like that, call quality. Uh, so call quality when I have good reception seems to be phenomenal, which I would expect. Um, but the actual reception... Um, at times isn't as good as um, I've experienced in the past. So with the HTC U11, um, my wife has an iPhone, um, I've had Samsung devices and stuff, I kind of know in my area what to expect as far as coverage, and I'll show you right now. Pop this on here. So you can see I'm, don't know if you can see very well, but I got about two bars right here, two to three bars, um, and I will get 4G, uh, right where I'm at right now, but I do live in kind of a more remote area, and so sometimes that can vary a lot. And with the HTC, the iPhone, and those, um, I feel like sometimes this is lagging behind. It's not picking up the same bars, the same uh, reception that those phones were. So I don't know if that's an issue with an antenna, or um, I'm you know I'm not really sure what that could be. But overall, it's not quite as good as some of the other devices I've used recently. Um, as far as the things I do like, I like this, like I said, I like the screen and the uh, body to screen ratio. That's really nice. Um, LG Skin, I'll talk about that here. Their software skin, I really have enjoyed it. And I really like HTC Sense. Um, that's probably one of my favorite skins. Uh, I, I, I really kind of lean towards um, stock Android as well. Just kind of that vanilla experience. So... LG, I feel like they've done a good job with this skin. It's not too heavy, um, but it adds some useful features, and I'll talk about one of those real quickly that, for me, for some reason, I just found this really nice. Um, you go into, I'll hold it up here. So you go into the settings, back into the display here, and they got this mode called Comfort View. You turn that on, boom, and I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it ends up cutting out some of the blue light off the screen to reduce the eye strain. Now I found this really helpful um, when you're kind of in a darker setting or you might be looking at your phone for a long period of time, especially if you're like reading or doing something like that because it does kind of create this yellowish tint to the screen, but it does, it actually does reduce eye strain. Now, I felt like my eyes, um, it was just overall much, a lot more comfortable, like it says. So. Um, I actually found that feature that was super nice, and I think that's the first time I've ever seen a feature like that. So, um, but overall, yeah, the skin is it's very nice, very functional. I don't feel like it's too heavy or anything. Um, and so, yeah, well done, well done on that LG uh, cameras. Let's see here. So we'll jump in here. Uh, cameras seem to have, of course, I mean, they're pretty solid performance. You got the standard here and then you kind of got this wide angled here and uh so i think overall um i think the i mean i i was pleased with the camera experience um the htc the u11 this year had phenomenal cameras they may have had a little step up on the lg but um for what i typically use the camera for the lg was more than enough um, it's in terms of quality, so uh, no great gripes there, really. And then, um, now let me see here, what else was I going to talk about? I think, you know, just going back to it, 
for the most part, LG checked all the right boxes um, with a few things that could have been tweaked or improved upon. But again, you know, they were the first one out this year. And when they you kind of, I guess, strive for getting your phone out there first, um, there might be times where they compromise on certain things just to get that out there. And it seems like the V30 kind of comes back mid-year um, to kind of correct some of those wrongs if they've made mistakes. And so that's nice to see. It's nice to see LG um, looking forward. So they, they kind of push the envelope with the screen a little bit at the beginning of the year. And then they um, come back and kind of improve upon some of those things uh, later in the year with the V series. So that's neat. I like that um, kind of that style, I guess. Um, and this by no means is a bad phone. This is a great phone. Um, just a few areas that I would have liked to have seen improved. So I've enjoyed the experience. Um, LG has done a great job for me. So I don't know, guys. Uh, you let me know what you're looking forward to. We got a lot of smartphones here coming up. Uh, the Note, uh, the V30, uh, Google Pixel will be coming uh, towards the end of the year. And then if you uh, like to dabble in some of the Apple stuff, obviously Apple's got their big um, iPhone 8 or whatever they may end up calling it. That's right on the horizon as well. So a lot of cool things coming. Um, me personally, I'm looking forward to the V30. Um, I'm curious about the Note series. I had a Note 5 that I really enjoyed. Um, so yeah, looking forward to the Note 8. I'm not sure that I will get one just because the pricing's a bit high right now. But um, the Google Pixel even, uh, that's kind of interesting. I've never owned... Um, a Nexus or Pixel line. So I'm going to be watching uh, that as well. But really for me going forward, the V30 and then probably the Apple partially because my wife loves the Apple products. And then um, I haven't really messed with Apple since the uh, iPhone 4. So uh, to see some of the rumors and some of the things that they're anticipating is really exciting. So Again, guys, I appreciate it. Appreciate the views. Appreciate the likes. Uh, let me know what you would like to see done differently or uh, where I could improve. And uh, let me know what you guys are excited about seeing. As always, guys, you guys take care. God bless.